The plan to harness the energy created by the sea around Alderney is moving a step forward and that could help with Britain's energy needs. Work is going on to check that Budley Salterton on the Devon coast is the right place to bring ashore a cable bringing energy from the continent via Alderney to the UK in a project known as FabLink. Hamish Marshall reports. This is the first sign of a possible import which could keep our lights on. They're drilling down a long way to see if Budley is the place for power cables linking the continent, Alderney and the Channel Islands and the UK to come ashore. It's about affordability, security and low carbon power. So interconnectors by 2020 will be saving the UK consumer something in the order of £1 billion per year by enabling access to cheaper electricity in other countries. This cable can bring energy from France, but also from a tidal stream proposed for waters off Alderney. These are in the top five tidal resources in the world, so there is scope to capture energy there. Eventually, when we can develop the whole resource, um, it will be very considerable, and we estimate we could supply up to around about 1.8 million homes, so a very significant amount of energy. When the cables do come here, there'll be four of them in total, two sets of two. Each will be roughly the size of a CD. But linking to the national grid means going through an area of outstanding natural beauty. So it'll switch from undersea to underground to avoid using pylons. AOMBs have the same landscape quality as national parks. So they, they fall within that same uh, legislation for protection. And for that reason, they're very important assets. The promise of underground cables in a metre-wide trench has eased some concerns. We've got a wonderful beach, we're part of the Jurassic Coast, we're a town which is wholly in an area of outstanding natural beauty, so my first concerns were visual impact, but as you've heard, when the project's been completed there will be actually no lasting impact. So this may bring cheaper and secure supplies, but its impact will be even greater if it can show we can harness the power of the sea to do so. It's planned the cable will be laid and ready by 2020. Hamish Marshall, BBC Spotlight, Budley Salterton.